Okay, good evening everyone. Good evening. good evening. Thanks for making it out to Heathrow on a Saturday evening, trying to party with us a little bit. Um, quick show of hands who came here because of the webinar we did uh, last, last week. Okay, quite a few of you. Um, who has never, I mean, this, what I love about tonight is a lot of new faces, which I'm really excited about, and I hope it's not just me being forgetful, but there's quite a few people I feel I've never seen before. So. How many of you have not met me before? Can I have a show of hands? Wow, excellent. Thank you. How many of you are here from last weekend? One, two, three, four. Last weekend we ran our first online brand masterclass and it, um, it was a real treat. And I think the people have been on there. I hope you're not here for a refund. No? <laughs> All right. Okay, just checking. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's turn off the aircon for now. Brilliant. So what is uh, this evening all about? Um, I told you in, in that we want to, first of all, have a good time. So we brought a bit of alcohol and have a little drink with you. Cheers, everyone, by the yeah, way. Cheers, cheers, yeah. Cheers. This is James, by the way. If you haven't met him, he's uh, Watson from Wagner Watson. So he's the, the other half of the coaching team. Enjoy his glass of wine. <laughs> uh, we're here actually at our retreat for the Inner Circle Mastermind, which is our highest level coaching program. And every month we meet with a, a boardroom style round table, 12 businesses maximum. And um, in month four, we spend two days together at what we call a retreat. And this year we thought, hey, why not use the evening for a preview event? And that's it, you're here. So we literally all came out from, an, from another room just around the corner where we've been all day talking about the progress we've been making uh, with the different businesses we've been coaching. And the feedback has been great. Some of the students have been working with us for one year, two years, three years. And it's just great to see the journey of growth. Many people know me possibly from internet marketing. And in, in my vocabulary, it's almost a dirty word. Because people think there is some quick magic out there. And they think they can overnight create the passive cash machine or whatever. And, and to be honest, when I started out, I, I believed that too. And I made some money quickly by selling e-books and the market changed and many things changed. For the last three years, I've been diligently putting together a real business, coaching real world businesses in, in many different areas, all the way from uh, meditation uh, courses to veterinarians to property investors, real people who got services and, and, and products to offer and help them with online marketing to create a complete, uh, complete offer. I stumbled across, and this is almost by accident, something that we now call the expert success formula. I looked at all the big successes we've been able to achieve for ourselves, for our students. I also studied other successful people. And I realized that there is a few things they all have in common. One of the things is a personal online brand. That means an online avatar, You're you but online, and whatever that means with the message you purvey, the photograph, the stories, the videos. That means a 24-7, 365 advocate for what, who st what you stand for. The second, second ingredient I found is they have products to sell. It's great having authority or being an expert. You, you need something for sale, otherwise you will not be able to make money or be an expert in an area. And those products, in the best case, are delivered automatically. They could be membership sites, access models. They could be digital products where they download videos. They could be physical products, like I have a few here, like the UK Infomillionaire. That's a 10 DVD set from an event we ran. A product could be an event. Indeed, we love running events because I love being on stage and I love sharing that way. And we have found that a lot of people like that way of learning and, and connecting. You could run continuity programs, like coaching programs. And if you are an expert, you need to share your message. And that's where the third component comes out. The third component is what I call audience. What's your platform? How many people can you talk to at any one time? Over the last few years, I built a database which allows me to talk to many people with just one click of a button. Thousands, tens of thousands of people can hear my message. 
Now, I think it's quite obvious, and I'm sure you can follow me, that the bigger the audience, the clearer the message, the more impactful your story becomes. And as I said, I stumbled across that almost by accident, but we reversed engineer all our successes and we put it into what we call the ESF, the Expert Success Formula. We actually went out and wrote a book about it, and um, some of you might be here, hiya, some of you might be here because indeed you want to get your hands on the Expert Success Formula, what we call a pre-release copy, not for distribution, by the way. Who wants to get their hands on this tonight? Is everyone? Oh, no, it's not one of those, no. <laughs> that's why he always sits in front. Yeah, this is not a free, everyone gets it for free, okay? Yeah, no need to wrestle me to the ground tonight, yeah. <laughs> so, we literally put all our knowledge into this book. And what we want to do is start a movement. We really want to go out there in the marketplace, in, in the marketplace called the world, and create awareness for something which I think is very, very important. I want all of you to step up and take leadership. Assume expert positioning. And earlier I said to you that internet marketing is not the magic that people were hoping for, yet here's a caveat. There is some magic we can do very quickly, which is build you an online brand, help you create products, and help you get to an audience quickly. And what that means is that the same knowledge you have right now is worth more money. And I want to show some case studies to cement that belief. I also want you to understand that all of you are experts. Again, I have some proof here tonight that all of you are experts in a certain field and there are thousands, if not millions of people <coughs> who want to learn from you. We want to help you put that knowledge into a product, into a service that people can learn. From all the teaching I've done, six years, seven years now, I teach this stuff online. We've run seminars and workshops and boot camps and retreats and membership sites and I got 20, 30 products out there, everyone I ever met at the core of the message wants to help people. And indeed, it is the age of transformation. Unless you can provide transformation, you're not able to make money. You're not in any business. That transformation might be solving a problem. That transformation might be answering questions. That transformation might be beautifying someone. That, trans that transformation might be giving them peace of mind. So if you provide uh, hairdressing services or property investing advice or any form of coaching, be it life coaching or be it helping people with depression or curing them, whatever it is, there's a transformation leading them from poverty to wealth, from sickness to health, from damnation to salvation. That's the transformation people are looking for. Why we're so fortunate today? Because never have trust into organizations been lower. There's a massive breakdown in, in trust. We don't trust politicians, we don't trust uh, the governments, we don't trust organizations, we don't trust the big lobbies, we lost faith in churches. A lot of that happened because we have exposed ourselves to this new world of radical transparency. The internet has exposed so many things and we should be glad for it. But what it means, a massive void has been created and in that void you can step into. That is what I call assuming your expert position. That book would start a movement. I will spend all year, every waking hour of my day, every day of my life, making sure that people get the message. And thanks for coming tonight to help me get that message out there. I want you to believe that expert positioning is something you can just do. You can claim it. I can go out there and I can claim that space and say, I am an expert in. I did that. I said, I'm an expert in personal online brand. And within six months, I get phone calls for speaking engagements around the world to talk about personal online brand. Now, I made that claim. Nobody awarded me and said, Dan, you know what? I think you should be the personal online brand expert. No, I just claimed that space. I read up on it. I did some work. Of course, I know what I'm doing, but I claimed that space. And I want you to feel you can do the same in any area. So let's go through some of the content. And, um, oh, let me point, um, do you mind just turning around, all of you, and looking at this little poster on the wall? Do you see that poster on the wall? Yeah, that is the expert success formula, and all of you will get one printout tonight. Um, it's a four-meter picture with 620 notes. I haven't got big enough wall for that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it, it's a wallpaper you can order from John Lewis called, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want you to wallpaper your room with it. 
I was actually shocked when I went to the coffee shop and I said, can you please print out my success formula? And I expanded the mind map and I came to pick it up this morning, uh, yesterday, and uh, she said, uh, it was rolled up. And I said, why did you roll it up? And she literally held it and walked around the room <laughs> like this. And she said, what is this thing? <laughs> what is this? And I said, it's what I'm teaching. She said, wow, it looks really complicated. I said, no, it's not complicated. It's just step by step. But we put in every step. So if you have time uh, after, if you have a quick look, it's broken down into three key areas, which is create a personal online brand, create powerful products, produce powerful products, and cultivate a buying audience. These are just three bits. But every bit has got some sub-steps, correct? So there's a lot of things to do. And um, I will give every one of you a digital copy, because I don't want you to walk around with these rolls, OK? So <laughs> hurt people with them. So, but I'll give you a digital copy, which means you have literally all the knowledge all the knowledge that we put into the book, because that is the core outline of the book, and it's also all the knowledge that I ever use to help people succeed, is in that mind map. And that is all you ever need. Let me share some thoughts with you. First of all, by building an online brand, it seems to do something, not what I want it to do. Oh, it does. By building an online brand, um, I have found there is just a few key components that, that all of you should have. We've just, we've just done it last weekend, by the way, for 18 students. We build personal online brands because it's step number one. Step number one, personal online brand. Step number two, produce powerful products. Step number three, cultivate a buying audience. Why in that order? There's no point trying to get an audience if you have no positioning. If you want to take some notes, nobody follows a nobody. Okay, we, we follow leaders, we follow experts, we want to get guidance and clarity. I want to know who you are, what you stand for, what is your message. So that's my own personal brand and here's a couple of distinctions that you need to know. I want you to have your own personal domain, that's your home on the web. As long as you have a home where you live, you also should have a home on the web. That's not where you live, that's where your online avatar lives. And that online avatar is where people can find out about you and your position. I have a video on there which does my talking 24 hours a day. I got an about me page which does my story 24 hours a day worldwide. The, much, the more you can automate that first step of getting to know you, the higher you qualify people. I would even go to a, to a step where I say I want you to turn some people off. I want you to take a clear position and say what do you stand for and what do you stand against. Because if you are lukewarm, if you are everyone's friend, you're nobody's fan. You know, you have nobody who's an advocate. We call it polarization in the book. We talk about creating an antagonist. When Apple did their big marketing campaign, they created an antagonist called PC. Remember the two people in the ads? Hey, I'm a Mac and I'm a PC. That was called the antagonist. What do you stand for? What do you stand against? And we need to create that position for us. The second thing I'd like you to have is a custom header with a professional picture. It's so simple, but most people don't get it done. And by the way, many of the people we helped last weekend, like Paul and Romy and Alan, who came to the workshop and we had it done with them, they're like, wow, I really wish I'd done it earlier. But sometimes you need to just have this kind of confined time where you do it. I'd like you to have people have a chance they can follow you. Remember, if you want an audience, you want people to be able to follow you, correct? Some people love Facebook. I'm not a great Facebook fan, I'll be honest. I think I'm too old, but I, I don't get it. Some people love Twitter. I don't get it, get it even less. You know? <laughs> but some people love this stuff. Some people just love to read blog posts. Some people love LinkedIn. And what you want to do is give them a choice how they can follow you. Right now, how can I follow you? You don't give me a chance. So how can you create an audience if there's no way I can follow you? And all these little things are just small, simple ways where people can follow you via Facebook, via LinkedIn, RSS, Twitter, YouTube, and there is a thousand more social media ones, but these are the ones we should focus on because they're the big ones. Google Plus, yeah, put Google Plus on, brilliant. But make it part of a strategy. Don't buy the Google Plus course because what does it do for you if you've got no authority and no expertise? Nothing. It's a disconnected piece floating in thin air. You don't need new strategies. You need to get out and get this stuff done. A very important part of following is creating a list. 
all of you or most of you come here because you are actually part of my list. You find out about my webinars, you find out about the knowledge, you find out about what I got to say. You spend time with me. And although I don't see many of you many times, which I prefer, I prefer having you in the room and seeing you, but webinars are great. I can do it from home, you can do it from home. But that's way how we build trust and connection, how I can purvey my knowledge. And all of you should do the same. So that list opt-in builds that subscriber list. When I got started in 2005, how many names do you think I had on my list? One. Sorry, how many? One. One, yeah, myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then a friend of mine, yeah, who signed up. And I sent out a broadcast, okay, which is like everyone on my list, okay? Open rate, 50%. The open rate goes down if you've got more people, <laughs> okay? So I built it up and it took me time. And, and here's the weird thing, what I found. The journey from building a database from zero to 100, from 100 to 500, from 500 to 1,000, to 5,000, to 10,000, and beyond, those steps almost take equal amount of time. So it's actually the hardest to get those first hundred names. And then from hundred to five hundred, I remember it seemed so hard. But once I hit a thousand to five thousand, I can't even remember how it happened. Because you get some traction, you get something called momentum. But there's no momentum at zero, okay? Did you ever see a rocket try to take off when the, the Americans do those space launch things? You know, at the beginning you think it's never gonna happen, correct? You can see all this thrust and this fire coming out and this whole thing is just shaking and nothing happens. And that's the beginning of any change. Trying something new, you don't get results. I know, I started my personal training regime yesterday. No results, <laughs> just pain, okay? It was not good. Hey, my, my trainer said, keep going. Your body will get used to the pain. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, I'd be willing to give it a try. So, uh, what else can we do? A video opt-in. Now, videos are great because video is multimedia. Video allows people to see me. I normally use, if you have, event footage. Me on stage, audience, which creates instant authority. Audio, video, authority, event, all in one go. Within a few minutes, people get a very good impression of who I am and what I do. So, I think these few elements should be on every personal blog, every personal branded page. The next thing I'd like you to do is write a book. And I'm, I'm, I'm foreign, in case you not noticed, I got a slight accent. I know it's hard to detect. Hey, <laughs> no laughing in the first row there. Worked on that accent, yeah. <laughs> I'm foreign and I still managed to write three books. You know, you, you just go out and do this thing. Just sit down and the way to do it actually is not to start white page, you know, crack your knuckles and start one day I sat down and wrote a book. What you do is you have a mind map like this. You start literally putting your knowledge into steps, break it down. By the way, one of the steps um, under point two, producing powerful products, is mapping a product staircase. <coughs> how do you do that? You create frameworks. How do you create a framework? You deconstruct your success into steps. Whatever it is you do already, you're successful. You wouldn't be here otherwise. So that success has got logical steps. If it's in property investing, if it's in uh, property investing, or if it's in property investing, okay? <laughs> Three different people have different approaches to achieve results. So why would some people work with Paul, others with Romy, others with Taz? Because they all have their own strategy, their own formula, their own system, their own blueprint. And that creates the book, that creates the content. So in essence, I already touched on that. We got three parts of that formula. Number one is brand. The brand is so easy. Brand, the definition of brand is what is different between you and another supplier of products and services. Now if you're a company, that's hard work. You spend millions, maybe tens of millions to do brand positioning. If you're a person, that's easy. Just put your mugshot on the, on the page. You're different. You're unique. We have a couple of chapters about unique positioning. You will really enjoy them when you get the book. Unique positioning. How do you position yourself uniquely? You do the same thing. Hey, I just do what the other guy does. No, you're not. Let's find the angle. Let's find what's different about what you do. And then let's establish that. The second part is products. When I mean products, I touched on it. It could be events. It could be membership site, digital product. It could be physical products. 
whatever you, it is you got to sell, make sure you got more than one. That's why it's a plural, yeah? Now I found from my experience, people who buy my stuff, they normally buy more than one thing. Like if you come here today, you bought my thing, correct? You put 24 pounds in the kitty to be here tonight. That's buying a product. Now, in all possibility, there is more I have to offer because I couldn't run my business on giving you wine and giving you a um, roll full of paper and print this stuff out for 20 quid. That's not how you make money, okay? But this is a great way of building trust and building connection and telling people about what you got to say. Multiple products. And thirdly, audience. Now, if I was very simplistic, I would say the bigger the better, but I want to make sure you understand it has to be qualified. There's no point talking to a million people who don't want what you got. Let's say I got a steak restaurant and somebody sells me the database of all vegetarians in the UK. How good would that be for my marketing? Not very, correct? I haven't got a match of what I got to offer. And although that sounds a very simple example, many times I see people come to me with their problem and they have exactly that problem. What they have to sell doesn't match the market they're talking to. So building that list will come naturally. And it comes by putting the voice out, by sending the message. People will hear you, some will follow, some will not. Jim Rohn is one of my greatest inspirations. Who knows of Jim Rohn, by the way? Can I show of hands? Oh, most of you, fantastic. You might know the example. He, he uses the Bible a lot as a, as a teaching tool, and not even as a, in a religious connotation. He just said, okay, um, in the Bible there is this story about Jesus going on a mountain and doing a sermon, it's called the Sermon on the Mount. And he said, you know, I read the words and it's pretty, pretty good stuff, simple, I get it, you know. But yet, at the end of the description in the book, it says some people were perplexed. Some people were mocking and laughing. Some people were shaking their heads. And some people believed. Now, as far as the, the book is concerned, and as far as, hi Olivia, and as far as Jim says, Nobody went back and tried to unperplex the perplexed. And nobody went back and tried to tell the mockers and laughers to stop mocking and laughing. Because that will happen. Some will, some won't. So what? Next. Your job is to sow the seeds. Your job is to get the message out. Your job is to do it again and again and again and again. Because people don't buy when you're ready to sell. They buy when they're ready to buy. So your job is to have methods out there to keep that message. Who believes, by the way, in their hearts, they have something to tell the world, they have a message that should go out there? Everyone. Isn't that interesting? Yet we don't quite know how to go about it. Now I feel I have found the formula, the expert success formula allows all of you to reach the people you want to reach and get that message out there about transformation, about leading healthier lives. I think the world needs it more than ever. I put that right in the center of everything because if you're not passionate about it, if you don't believe that this is a valuable message, if you say, you know what, I just want to make money, I say, good luck, Jack, it's not going to happen. Because just to make money on a rainy day will not get you out of bed. Just to make money will not be the driver that really gets you through the obstacles. But having a passion, devotion, obsession, I call it sometimes my magnificent obsession. That's what I look at. I'm just obsessed by getting this message out there. I'm a bit of an addictive personality, I'll admit that openly. It not served me well at parts of my life, but it starts to serve me well. I really, really want to get this out there. And I'll do whatever it takes. And you will need that attitude. I have found that money comes to you when you follow that formula. When you have got a clear message and positioning, you've got something to sell at different price points, at different levels, to different people, and you've got people who listen to you and follow you. And if that is all driven by something you truly believe in, something that's real, money will follow. There's a law set up in the universe. I don't know what it is, but it will fill those gaps. And it will actually be all around you. The expert success formula is a little bit more detailed than just brand, product, and audience. Here you see a little breakdown, and I've done some of that on a webinar when I go into one node. But this, as you see, this monster down here is what I printed out in the back. And if you want, have a look back there. But this is, in essence, in the book. Every node is broken down and described here. So by reading the book and having the formula, you can immediately see, what am I missing? What are you missing? Why are you not making the money that you want to make? Why are you not helping all the people you want to help? 
Why are you failing at your life's mission? Why are you failing at finding purpose? Because one of those three things is not in place. Your brand isn't strong, your products don't sell, you've got no one following you. No wonder you can't get the results you want. But this formula will help you to say, you know what, Dan, I'm checking against this formula and I can see that point 0.2, point 0.3 is missing. I don't have that in my formula. If everything's in place, I can guarantee you it will work, you will make money, because that's just logical. Would you agree it's logical? If I've got a message that is compelling, driven from the heart and passion, if I have products that are dealing with the customer's problems and solving solutions, and I have an audience that is anticipating and following what i got to say, money will change hands. The reason is business is literally an exchange of value, where you're solving problems at a premium. That's all you do. You're solving problems at a premium. We go later on to a restaurant, what's my problem? I'm hungry. What's the premium? I pay money. What do I get? Food. That's a restaurant business in one little sentence. They're solving problems at a premium. What can you solve? Which problem can you solve today? And which problem could you solve in the future once you've solved the first problem? Product staircase. Look at the bill, look at the picture. It says, what can you immediately sell to them? What can you solve right now? And what can you solve later once they've done the first step? So here are the three steps. Personal online brand. Position yourself online to be found. I'm quite proud of a little sentence because every word is significant. Position yourself. Don't wait for someone to call you up and say, you know what, I really think you're an expert. Um, I think we're going to now position you on the expert wealth matrix and from now on we're going to pay you more for the same work. That's not going to happen. Too many people wait. Don't wait for the event. Make the event. No one said to me, you know what, Dan, I think you've got such a great message. Let me put an event on for you at Heathrow. And you just come and speak. No, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to tell people I'm going to turn up. I'm going to give you a glass of wine. I'm going to give you my book. I'm going to tell you all I have to tell you. Just make the event. Just do it. Make it happen. You want to be found. If you can't be found, you will be lost. Very, very simple. If you can't be found online, you're nowhere. Next year and the year beyond and the year beyond is only going to get bigger that way. What a great opportunity. Technology, <coughs> climate, economic climate and political climate allow us to move into this void. Number two, create multiple products. Sell products and services, the magic word, automated. We have a lot of products we sell automated. Now this is not automated, I'm not running on batteries, it's not as, no, I'm aware. this is real, okay? We do live events where I speak to you. We do coaching where I coach you. But we have stuff that's automated. And you need that. Because if you fulfill everyone, the amount of life coaches I've spoken to, by the way, who knows of a life coach? Who knows somebody who's a life coach? Everyone, how are they doing financially? <coughs> Not, too good. Not too good. Why? Because they're selling their time for money. That's all they got. They got one product called Me Time. They got one product at a low level which sells their time for money. I can tell you already how much they can work. I can tell you how much they can earn in a year if they work every hour of a given day. End of business. It's not a business. If they put automated products in place and create a high-level coaching program where they give personal time to people who are qualified, who move up through the products, they can make whatever they want. Paul McKenna is a life coach. Not even a very good one from what I heard. But what has he done well? Let's follow. What is Paul Pennant and Ray? Has he got a strong personal brand? Yeah. Yes, I think he has. Has he got multiple products? Yeah. Just wrote a new book. So it's just like the old one with a different title. <laughs> I haven't read any of his, but it doesn't matter. And guess what? Has he got a big audience? Yeah. Yes. TV, shows, books, it doesn't matter. Went to a bookstore recently, Jeremy Oliver. He's got a whole section now. Is he the best cook in the world? No. no. What has he done? Online brand, Jamie the Naked Chef, products unlimited, okay, iPhone apps, help the kids, mission, all the stuff, he does everything, check the expert formula, it's as if we'd written it for him. He went out, he found an antagonist, the bad food, he went out on a mission, he got people behind him, he's got support, he's passionate. Is he passionate? Yeah. Of course he is. You can't do this stuff if you're lukewarm. That is the three ingredients to any success in today's world. 
Let me explain it to you in, in a really beautiful little formula. You've seen the expert wealth matrix. Very, very simple. Who has not seen the wealth matrix? By now? Show of hands. <laughs> Everyone's seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it? Brilliant. Everyone else, are you okay if I run through it once more? Yeah. Thank you. I love this piece. It's my IP. That means I own this piece. Okay, you're allowed to use it and tell people about me. Yeah, tell them, hey, I've seen this great wealth matrix. It took me three weeks. Serious. Three weeks to create one graphic that encapsulates 20 of the concepts I want to share with you. It's all in one story. And I want to make sure you remember the expert wealth matrix. That's why I do the story. Let's start. Every topic in the world, from property investing to internet marketing to copywriting to meditation to running webinars to whatever it is you do, there is a line from knowing nothing to knowing everything. The line starts at zero. Um, by the way, I, I want to just uh, thank the father who brought his son. Pay good attention. You played a game earlier on your iPad, correct? What's the game you played? What is it called? Okay, multiple games in one. Okay, now I would say w that about this game, I know nothing. I don't even know what it's called, okay? So I know nothing about the game. I would assume that he knows quite a lot. Would you say you know quite a lot about the game? You're quite good at it? You're an expert? Kind of. <laughs> okay. Could he teach all of us about the game? Probably. All right. Probably, yeah, most likely. That means in any field, there's someone who's an expert. An expert is, in my eyes, somebody you can teach 95% of the world. 20 people in a room, you know more than the other 19, you're an expert. There's 40 people in a room, he's an expert. He knows more than 97.5% of the room. Quick math. You check in? <laughs> That's it. So, most likely, I'm somewhere down here knowing almost nothing. He's up here knowing this. But let's look at this. Looking at the distribution of people in the world on any subject, most people are down in what I call the swamp. And I'll tell you in a minute why it's called the swamp. So this is where most people are. They know a little bit about something. And here's the challenge with, with that topic. The wealth distribution is the opposite, the polar opposite to the knowledge distribution. That means money available for the knowledge in a certain area is the opposite. So let, let's look at our good friends working at McDonald's. Okay? That's a pretty low skill set required. They're lovely people and you know, they might be the best citizens and the best kind of parts of society, but what they produce in the marketplace is not worth a lot of money. So what they know about running a business is very low. And here is the problem with that formula. Down here is where most of the world are. And we never allow ourselves to position ourselves better. Triple whammy, number one. This is called your competition. So the people who know as much as you do in a certain area is called your competition. Because they are as good as you. They know as much as you. If you're a tennis coach or a life coach, whatever. Area number two, whammy number two. This area is called your audience. That means who can I talk to? Only the people who know less than me. I can only teach people who are not as expert as me. And number three is the amount of money available to distribute amongst that. That's what people are prepared to pay, not very much. That's the amount of people you share it amongst, which is a lot of people. So if you're a tennis coach or whatever it is you are, if, you, if you're a life coach, this is a classic life coach example. I'm just a beginner. I call myself inner vision life coaching. I charge 20 pounds an hour. That's what everyone else does. Who can you teach? Not a lot of people because that's what everyone else does. How much money is available? Very little. Let's say you do the Paul McKenna thing. If you're up here, the competition is tiny. If you're up here, the audience is huge. That means you can teach almost everyone. And up here, the money is massive and unfairly distributed between just a few people. What I love about this matrix is that you can actually choose to move up that positioning by doing a few simple tricks. To avoid forever selling your product at a low price. To avoid forever to be a wage slave or sell your time for money. And you do it by positioning yourself, by putting your stand putting your stake in the ground and owning a space of real estate, virtual real estate. Whatever expertise you want to own, just put it to your name and own it. Step up, become a leader. Uncomfortable? Yes. 
Alternatives, none. The export industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the world. I've told you the reasons why. It is a multi-billion, fast-growing industry. Now, let me ask you, would you like to be in the film developing business, like Kodak? <laughs> Who wants to be developing films like Kodak? Most likely not, correct? You want to be in a growth industry. In this current economic climate, there's a couple of growth industries. Name one or two growth industries you know about. Apple. Sorry? Apple. Apple is still growing, yeah. Internet's still growing, yeah, slowed down, but let's look at the economic downturn. What is the, what has it given us? Change, look at the high street. What is there more of than 10 years ago? Empty shops. Empty shops, yeah, so that means, uh, but uh, let's look at growth industries. The one pound shop, yeah? Charity shops, more of them. Uh, payday loans, yeah? Okay. Yeah, green stuff, sorry? Yes, gold, cash for gold didn't exist a few years ago, correct? Betting. Betting. Yeah, I mean, you know, all these are growth industries, I personally don't want to be in any of them. Because who do you deal with in those industries? Uh, if you look at the economic distribution, are you dealing with the wealthy? Are they selling their gold right now? They're more, mostly people who are broke. They are the first ones who feel the pinch. And these are the growth industries we see. I'd rather be in a growth industry that deals with the wealthy, the rich, the affluent, super affluent, and highly affluent people. So this is one of the few industries I've identified, and I think we're here with a massive opportunity, a massive growth trend. It is driven down, as I mentioned earlier, it is driven by the breakdown in trust. Breakdown in trust. We've never had so little trust for institutions, churches, governments, politicians, leaderships, companies. This new transparency that social media and internet has given us, we now want to know who runs the company. Who is Michael Dell? What does he do? The guy, um, Mark Hurd, who got kicked out of HP for sexual harassment, they brought the share price down. We want to know who leads this thing. It's all about people. So you can step up and lead your own tribe tomorrow. you just got to start stepping up. You know, you might have one follower to start with. Hey, that's cool, you know. It's one person who puts their faith in you. By the way, you can still follow other people, that's fine. I still learn, I still follow, but I create my own tribe because I want to be independent, I want to create my own economy. Who would like to have their own economy, by the way? Be cool, yeah? I was reading this book called Richistan. Richistan is a country where the rich people live. <laughs> yeah? And you know what, it's got its own rules, its own currencies, they live their own lifestyle, they buy different food, they eat, they, eat, they, they do things differently. <laughs> Good question, sir. Let me answer that for you. <laughs> it actually, you get there by taking a little bit of their money. And if you just take 1% of their money and you do it 100 times, you got their money. You got 100% of their money. You see, Donald Trump doesn't just deal with billionaires and multi-billionaires. He does business every day with normal people. So if Donald Trump was looking for a solution, he would Google it, or he would have his assistant Google it, he would have to rely on the information that comes back. If he can find you and your brand and you've got proof and you've got products and you've got an audience, there's a good chance somebody like that could do business with you. Why not? They cannot just deal with each other. They have to deal with the other world. So how do you get to this position? Is by taking a little bit of these people. they got the money. But not by selling your coal, gold for cash. It's not an answer. The next thing. Internet revolution has fueled this. <coughs> massive transparency. And the last step, which I find very exciting, it pervades all markets and niches. I have proof that it works in any market. It doesn't matter what you do right now, this positioning formula will push you up the wealth matrix. And it's simple to do. I think we're here. We're right at the beginning of this curve. I heard about this very early. I've unconsciously done that over the last five years. I built my personal online brand. You know what I noticed? Because I had all these different businesses and every year I was scratching my head thinking, I start a new business, I need a new business, I need a new idea. And after all these ups and downs and new business and stop and new business and stop and new idea and gone. Who's ever done that by the way? He's done a bit of I start an idea and then follow it through. You've seen that? What is the one consistent thing in all these ventures that you've done? Use your finger, point at yourself and say me. It's yourself. 
I realized that my personal brand is the one thing that Daniel Wagner, with different hairstyles and different weight fluctuations, <laughs> I admit, okay, <laughs> over the years, but that's me or in all these things. And my core values haven't changed. So it makes sense to start with the one thing that you know is not going to change, which is you as a person and your message and your skills. You all have unique skills. You all are experts already. You might only be on 25% of the expert matrix. Just push yourself up by creating a better brand. Learn how to produce products. Sell stuff automated. Build an audience. Create a following. The world's never been more ripe for this. The technology is in place. The economic climate's in place. All the indicators are in place to do that right now. Last night I tried to create uh, a graphic which includes multiple curves and show you how different curves kind of overlap each other. As you can tell, I didn't finish the graphic. So all I left with is this curve. But there are markets all the time. They go in cycles. Things go up and down. There's growth markets and there is uh, on the top, on the cusp. So here is what we call early adopters. This is the mass momentum and this is like the tail, the trail off, you know. And we're just here. This is just starting. Let me give you an example. Um, case study, personal trainer. Anybody in this room a personal trainer? Anybody knows a personal trainer or has one? Okay, most of you. Brilliant. Let me ask you a question. Do they look a little bit like this? They got a t-shirt which says personal trainer on the back, correct? And if you look at the average salary, a personal trainer can expect 13 to 15,000 pounds a year after doing the personal trainer qualification. Now here's a guy I know, and by the way, where does he sit here on the expert wealth matrix? Where do you think he sits? Right at the bottom, in the swamp. Faceless guy, does the same as everybody else, total commodity. How much do they charge an hour? 40 pounds. 30, 20, yeah. 30, 40. And what do you normally think when you pay them that money? Exactly, thank you. <laughs> exactly. You're thinking, that's a lot of money, I don't even know who you are. Okay? You don't even know the second time it's a different trainer because he's got no personality. Ridiculous. So he's right there. Uh, here's another example. That's my personal trainer, by the way. He's the guy I trained with yesterday. You know him? Oh, that's a good choice, correct? Now, now Lazo charges 10,000 pounds for a 12-week transformation program. Now, let me ask you a question. Where does he sit in the wealth matrix, first of all? Right up here. How many people does he compete with in this market? Very few or none, okay? Who is his clientele? Let's read his description to give you a clue. You. People like me, idiots like me, okay? <laughs> Who think, I really want this. I got the money. I don't have the time. I want a guaranteed result. I'm going to sign up. I put so much pain into this relationship, my stake of money and time. I will make this happen, correct? And I met him yesterday for the first time. And we went to a gym and it wasn't fun. <laughs> and I said to him, what's the secret? He said, no secret. I will work you very hard, mate. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, I'm glad I'm paying a lot of money for this, okay? But here's my point. Who would you rather work with? You think Lazo, Lazo works with people in Mayfair, with brokers, with bankers, with investment bankers, you know, with people who've got money who said, you know what, I just want the result, I want to work with you. Who gets the better results, the train in the gym or Lazo? Lazo. Um, who makes more money? Lazo. Who's got more fun? Lazo. Yeah. So where would you want to be? Lazo. Up or down? I want to be Lazo, exactly, yeah. Okay, you can't be. But you can be you, okay? Lazo made that decision only some time ago. He said, you know what? I'm fed up with being a personal trainer. I'm going to position myself consciously. So the expert wealth matrix, very simple. You want to be on the top. You want to sit where the money is. This was concept number one. I just want to recap the three steps. Um, Actually, before I do, let's see if we can remember it because I've been only giving you a few basic messages. What are the three ingredients for the expert success formula? Number one, you need a personal online brand. Number two, you need products. How many? More than? Multiple. More than one. Multiple, correct. Ideally, fulfilled what? Automated. So you're not physically filling them, putting them into boxes or envelopes and shipping them out. And number three, you need an audience. Cultivate a buying audience. I use those words very carefully cultivate, which means looking after, nurturing, 
and a buying audience because there's not much point having a non-buying audience, yeah? If you want to make money, I, I presume we're here to learn how to make more money. Can I, actually, I didn't check that. Can I just check in? You're here to learn how to make more money? Yeah, a few of you? We just came to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Security, second row, third guy. <laughs> okay, brilliant, let's look at that. So you were totally right, three things. Personal online brand, create multiple product. And the third one was audience, yeah? Those three together are the magic we're looking for. Driven by your passion and values, will attract money. <coughs> the more we can automate, the better, of course. Let me quickly check who is this for. Existing experts and what I call new experts. The new experts are maybe my favorite because existing experts is like, hey, yes, I'm an existing expert. I just forgot to position myself. And when you watch any television program, whatever happens in the world, they're going to get some expert okay, to talk to. Now, how do you find those people? Somebody just go out and look for them. As long as you got a book and a couple of products and a website looks half decent, you, you can be you. <laughs> okay. I, will, I know this year I will be on one of the television channels talking about personal online brand because I will be the expert. When they Google me, I will own page one. I will be the guy to go to. And it's only because I made a decision to stand for it and claim that space. And I want you to be aware that you can claim that space. It, it's not an award ceremony that happens once a year. You just go and do it. The new experts I love particularly because these are people where literally we create a brand around them. We look at what they've done and we've done it with Paul really well. I think Paul came to our branding workshop last weekend and Paul is a property investor. He wants to teach people how to make money in property but he's also got an, a science background. So we created this new expertise and his strap line is mastering the science of property. And he's got his own approach. And people like it, you see that? You see? Yeah, people are like, hmm, I get it. And that's a unique approach. He's qualified because of his unique skills. When I help people create unique skill sets, I look at what have you done that we can combine that works together. Like the science of property. Great example. Anyone who is in business needs that success formula. Because what will happen is you go to a BNI or whatever these meetings are called at 7 in the morning and people say, hey, it's my business card. What's the next thing they're going to do? They go online and... Google you. What will they find? Random ramblings, most likely. Somebody mentioned you in a blog post, some drunken photo from last year. Okay, that's it. Now what I want to make sure is that you <coughs> control your reputation online. That you say, hey, go to my personal blog, danielwagner.com. I know he's safe. Because I control everything that's on there, correct? I put the messages on there, the testimonials, the success stories, the videos, my books, my products, my about me page, my application forms, it's all there. And he's going to land on the page and he's going to think one or two things. But generally, wow, good. He's got a presence. He's got an online presence. Oh, wow, there's an audience. He's got an event. Wow, you know. I, I fulfill those three criteria for instant checking in. Will I do business with him? Yes or no? I want to show an example with you in a minute and ask you, your judgment, we don't know the person, but I want to know your judgment, would you do business with this person, yes or no? I want to point out to you that this is also a solution for career-minded employees. If you want to move up the corporate ladder, nothing more exciting than telling your boss or your future boss about your personal online brand. Because they can go on your website and they will hear about you, learn your story. And we have examples, we have proof that this really works. Where somebody says, you know what, I want to I wanna be the expert in supply management, supply chain management. Okay, so how do you do that? You build your personal blog and when you apply for a new job, you say, hey, by the way, check out my personal website, which has got a great photograph on, it's got a video about you saying why you're passionate about supply chain management. It tells you about your career steps, where you want to go, your vision, your, the charity you're supporting, all this great stuff while the other guy gives him a CV. Yeah. Can you say, would you say it's like the equivalent of CV in the new way though? Equivalent? Mm. It is better. <laughs> okay, it is an online multimedia living CV. It is you in multimedia online. I mean, how cool is that? Think about it. People don't use that. You in HD. Yeah, in <laughs> <ha> exactly. <laughs> You know, in HD, Dolby surround. I mean, but just imagine really, just think of a moment that we always make choices who to work with, who to give the deal. 
And if I can choose between two things, all things being equal, I would always go with a branded expert because it's an unconscious decision. You don't want to take the risk. It's like going to Elon's or eBay and a guy's got no stars. You're not going to buy the damn thing of him. You'd rather pay 50p more and buy the chair from the other guy. Do you know what I'm talking about? You want rating, you want success, you want proof. That is proof. That's magic. Wow, he's got a site. He's got an address. He's got a name. He's got a photo. He's got a face. He's got a video. He talks to me. He's got products. He's got an audience. That's pretty good. And we can do it instantly. The world needs experts. I mean, I could spend a whole day seminar on this, but I might actually. Who would be interested in a one day seminar? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about creating leadership. I've been struggling with this all my life. I always knew I had it in me to go out and create a movement to do something special, but I was afraid. By the way, who feels a bit of fear here and there? Okay, it's not just me, that's good. You feel less, Neville? Yeah. Or you just, just too, tired. too tired to put your hand up? <laughs> just checking in. Because I would have learned the lesson of fearlessness yeah. with Neville, <laughs> expert in fearlessness. Okay. <laughs> 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 so we're all afraid at times. And, and the reason is that we have uncertainty. Now, if you're a follower, there's no need to be afraid because the leader goes and you follow. Fine. If you're a leader, you make decisions. And decisions means you can't have it all. It means you know you've got people behind you. Right now, I'm leading. Right now, I have a bit of uncertainty, but I'm also really excited about what I'm doing here. And you want to do the same. And that comes across. That means you feel alive. You do something empowering. Those experts can be in any market. And we've been working with people in any possible market. Virtual assistants, renovation, nutrition, alkaline diet, meditation, business coaching, internet marketing, any market. It pervades all markets. The formula stays the same. These are all students of ours. Different people do different things. Would it be okay, um, can I just uh, pick, I pick, let me pick Jillian. Jillian, you're here? There she is, Jillian. So Jillian, um, do you want to just tell a little bit what, what, you've, what you've done since working with us and how following Expert Success Formula has helped you? Yeah. Would it be okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to come up? Give a round of applause, Jillian Fox. <laughs> Thank you. And I've been working with Daniel and James for several years now, and 18 months ago, I joined the Inner Circle. And before I joined the Inner Circle, I had a fledgling copywriting business. And now, I've got a successful copywriting business. I now have a published book. I'm a published author, a book called Promise Me, A Personal Journey. I used to be scared of standing on stage. I would not have got up and done this. Now, actually, I'm starting to enjoy it. <laughs> and I've spoken to quite a few other people. That's me. That was that's last year's Jeffrey Best competition. And that's the second one I've done standing in James. I also started to have some low fees for my copywriting skills. <coughs> but now I'm a recognised expert in my field. People ask me for interviews. And I took the big step of significantly upping my fees at the beginning of this year because I knew inside that I was ready for that. So Daniel and James have given me a whole new business. They've helped me become an expert. They've helped me stand on stage and be cool about doing that. I can't thank them enough for what they've done for me. Thank you. That means a huge amount to me. They're brilliant to work with. Thank you very much, both of you. Well done, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Chilean. Thank you. Thank you. What I love about Chilean is when she came to us, she really didn't know about internet marketing. She didn't know about marketing or running a business. And we really helped her through that journey to find her, her skill. And the main thing for me is we always check in with her. Is this the business you want? Is this the lifestyle you, that you dream of? This is not about creating a multi-million empire. It's that she is empowered to live the life she wants. And I hope you don't mind me, Jillian, saying that because Jillian looks incredible for her age, but she's in her 60s when she started that journey with us. And I just find it amazing. And I want her to tell every woman out there to go out and get it done. You know, assume your position, claim your own stake. Don't wait for handouts. Just go and make it happen. And uh, you're such a great role model for all of us as well in the group. Thank you. Fantastic. 
So that's Gillian. Um, th there's one gentleman I always, always ask to speak, and I um, hope he doesn't mind me calling him again. And that's Alan Robinson. You want to just uh, come up here? Actually, I couldn't stop him coming up here, actually. <laughs> so stay seated. Yeah. Yeah, give him a round of applause, <laughs> Alan. <coughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I think I'd better put the uh, record straight after Gillian's uh, nice words. Uh, <laughs> I've been working with the, uh, my name's Alan Robinson. I, um, my, my company's um, Vet Dynamics. I do business coaching for veterinary surgeons in particular. Um, three years ago, Daniel mentioned about the um, coaches, consultants who earn no money, who run around, work at low level, work in the swamp. And I think I was well and truly in the swamp. Three years ago, I was probably doing forty thousand miles a year. I had, I was one of those consultants. Says, "What's your problem? Yeah, I can, I can fix that." And I tell me what the problem is. Um, and so it was a, a journey of, of self-destruction in many ways. And um, was anyone at the last um, mastermind? Okay, well I told a story there, um, which which covered a lot of that. And that, that was um, a, a sort of interesting time. And came up with these guys. Um, I was following Daniel um, on his web. I was one of those lurkers who hangs around people's websites. <laughs> and that are quite worrying. Um, Blueprint Formula was my introduction to internet. I was a complete internet novice. I knew nothing about it. I'm of the age whereby this stuff just passed me by. So my business model was really based on the 70s, and I was doing the best I can. In my small niche, I, I had a degree of authority and, and presence, but really uh, nothing like that. So on the journey, I've been working with Daniel and James for 18 months now. I'm still a bit remedial in that respect. But, um, it's been a, a hell of a journey to get this far, and um, to be honest, it's had huge dividends for the, for the business. I've probably tripled my turnover. Um, I'm going to probably do 400,000 pounds this year on my own. Um, and that is the combination of workshops and products and ideas and innovations. Um, a lot of that's profit, so it's doing very well. The real benefits has probably been the, the guidance on um, just keeping focused, keeping in your niche. Um, I must say some of the brilliance is working with people like Gillian, working with people like Nigel and Sophie and, and a few of the other people in the room um, who, who just force you to be accountable and force you to really think about where you're going. So it's been a, a tremendous journey on that respect. Um, I've done the book, I've done the products, I've done the DVDs. I've had the personal brand done, so I'm in the process. Um, just follow the rules. Just follow the rules. The rules Thank are all you. on that chart up there, I believe. <laughs> so Indeed. Um, working with these guys has been fantastic. Um, if you need to recommend, if you're one of these guys who, or girls who, who really want to develop your business, develop your, where you are as an employee, um, you want to do, become the expert, and it really isn't that difficult. Um, it's really difficult. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> Thanks. Interesting when he tripped up and it's easy, it's not easy, uh, or simply easy. We always get this uh, discussion. It's true. Uh, this is why I say to you tonight, I give you all the knowledge, but where's the problem? The problem is in getting it done. The problem is in actually putting time aside in your busy schedules. That's why we're very passionate about our coaching programs, about our workshops, because unless you sit with us, and unless you know you're going to come back to an accountability room, like our masterminders, who every month, it, it, let me ask the masterminders, when does the flurry of activity really happen? <laughs> is, it, is it in the first week after mastermind or in the last week before? Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's the reason, because they know they're coming back to a room where other guys are going to look at them and say, hey, what have you done? Where are you? What's the progress? Where are we with this? And uh, we're using this out of accountability where we can. And we have not found a better, w better way of helping people achieve results by, apart from nurturing them, cultivating that relationship, deep connection, support, and accountability. And really caring for them in their business. You know, that's the, the one thing. Um, I'd love to just hear from one guy who's, uh, who's pretty new to this, um, a young chap. Um, and his name is Taz, Tiara. Do you want to just give us a few words, Taz? Sure. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> My name is Taz Tiara. I uh, have been working in the group with Dave and James and Daniel for about four months now. I've been with them for four months. And for me, um, 
But well, like, I, I finished uni and some was just gone, and you'd think that I'd be on like the cutting edge of all the marketing stuff, doing a business and marketing degree. But I came out thinking, right, I want to set up my business and, and, do, and live in this property investment. And I just thought, right, actually, where do I start? What do I do? Even though I'd done three years at a really good uni. And joining the program with, with my dad as well, who can't be here, unfortunately, it just totally radically changed where we thought we would take our business. We had a lot of knowledge, and the problem we had was being able to convert that knowledge into things that were really going to make us money. And, you know, I, I, I forecasted a long time before I thought I'd really hit my financial goals and where I wanted to be and helping the people, the type of people that I wanted to be helping. But I've got to say, with the knowledge that I've been gaining, working with these guys, working with these guys the team that they've, they've helped me build as well, I've managed to start forging my online brand. And you know, at the age of 22, I think that's brilliant for myself because it means that people are now finding a place to find me as a professional property investor. And I'm able to help them as well, which is kind of like one of the big things about it. It means I get my message out there. And I wouldn't have had a clue of really how to master the online world if I wasn't here being held accountable every month. And also throughout the month as well, because they schedule a lot of calls with us as well. So they're always cracking a bit, which <laughs> I'm really glad about. So it's not your average program, I've got to say that. It's Thanks, mate. It's definitely not your average program. You know, it, it makes you sweat, but you know, it's so worth it. And I wouldn't be where, I wouldn't be on the path that I'm, that I'm on at the moment. And it is a path, it is a journey for me. And it's nowhere near finished, thank God. But I'm so thankful to be on it. And for me, it's wonderful experience. And I know Sam had a brilliant story as well, but it's a shame he's not here to mm. share it as well, because that was a good success story before Absolutely. he started with some of the stuff that he was using. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Taz. Give a round of applause. Thank you. Thanks. Sam is uh, Taz's dad, and um, the story he had to tell, he, he actually works as a sales director, a sales director, marketing director, uh, in, in an international company. And coming to our, our our workshops and actually from the pre the consultation that we did before accepting them on mastermind because we do it on an application basis because we want to make sure we really can help you best the consultation knowledge we gave him he just picked up some distinctions really and a few days later his um, his marketing guy in his company said oh we're going to launch this new product and this is what we're planning and he's like no 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 what you should be doing is the product launch and the pre-sequence and the guys were like Whoop! Okay, what's <laughs> going on? The director overheard the conversation and a week later he was promoted to worldwide marketing <laughs> director <laughs> and got a rise, got a raise of salary more than the money he invested in the six month program for us. And I remember him calling us and said, I haven't even started the program. <laughs> I already made my money back. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great story. I just don't want don't don't expect it to happen for everyone, yeah? <laughs> we can't promise you that result, but it's just great because uh, Taz, young guy, started marketing and he came to our program like saying, this is all different. This is not what I learned. Because what you learn at uni is brand marketing for corporate branding. What we do is direct response marketing. It couldn't be different. It's, it's, it's as different as um, Chinese is from Mandarin. <laughs> okay? Now, right now, you're thinking, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> But people tell me it's very different. So I use the example because you might not know the difference, but I tell you it's very different. So what we teach here is underground knowledge. We call it secret knowledge. The only fact is because so few people know it. But you cannot go to a course and learn this stuff. I bought books on traditional marketing, and I normally get one distinction from a whole book, if. But this is the good stuff. That's the real stuff that works in any market, any business. So thanks, Taz, for, for sharing that. Uh, I come back to a little test I wanted to ask you. Um, here is a guy, this is a test, a marketing test for me. Here's a person who wants £100,000 of your investment. He's a property investor. You met him at an event. You weren't quite sure. There's two people you're thinking of um, giving you money. And the deals look very similar on paper. So what you do is you go home and you Google them. And that's what you find on the first guy. Okay, you find his page. Um, his, his company is called Abacus. When you read it first, you think it's called Abyss, and you're not quite sure if that's the right way to put your money. So, and that's it. Okay, <laughs> that's the page, okay? And, and then here's another guy. Um, here's another guy. And it's the same kind of, same offer, everything around it. Where would you go? Who would you trust? On the, right. the one on the right, yeah? 
Okay, who would trust the guy on the right? Can I have a show of hands? Who would trust the guy on the left? Now here's the answer, it's the same guy. And between that is two weeks. Two weeks of sitting down with him, defining his message, getting the photographs done, getting the personal brand done. Now he moved up on the expert wealth matrix from down here to here without knowing anything else. It's not like, oh, I've got to go back and study five more years, then I'll know more. No, no, no. Position, claim, be found. That's all you need to do. And it's easy. We even now, we made it so easy, we actually now even do a workshop where we do it for you because most of you can't be bothered to do it. So we said, all right, we'll do it for you, okay? But please turn up because we need to take your photograph, okay? <laughs> so that, that's it. Okay, we do it for you because once it's done, it will change how you do business. What we do um, for celebrities um, is the completely done for you celebrity personal online brand makeover. A bit of a mouthful, but what it means is we, we pick guys like Rob Moore who drive Ferraris and we say, you, you know what, you need this. And within 10 minutes of talking to us, he sees the point <coughs> and he, he gets that done. And what we actually do, we, we create this personal branded blog, we do professional studio shots with him, um, we do the branded Facebook page, we then do the Twitter page, we build a lead capture system so you can build a list. Because Rob doesn't know the technology, I just want to let you know, the guy is, is very technophobe. He's a great marketer, but he doesn't know any of the, the, the um, technology. And we integrate all in an online dashboard so it's easy. And what we charge the celebrities for this is 15 grand. By the way, don't tell them, okay? Because we can get a very similar program at a different price. But for celebrities, that's what we do, the one-to-one. -one. Why? They can afford it. And why? Because they're hard work, yeah? They're prima donnas. They're only available at five past seven after the gym workout in the morning for seven minutes, yeah? That's when you have to get the information out of them, right? So that's why we just say, you know what, if you want this, it's going to cost you. And uh, that's, that's our product, which is great. We also charge uh, every month a bit of money, which is good for us. We're getting a good upfront and we get monthly recurring income, which of course for someone his caliber is fine, you know? And I'm talking to like seven different experts right now, just telling them they need this and selling them this solution. If you want to do it yourself, it's very simple actually. Um, you just need a few people in place. They don't have to be in your employment, by the way. I mean, we got a few employees and we got a few full timers and we got a few experts. We just hire in when we need them. But if you want to do it yourself, you need somebody knowing about internet marketing. You need a graphic designer. That's maybe a, that's a very important part. The graphics is the first impression. A good graphics, that's really, really important. 2012, guys, you know, this is not Paint Pro or whatever it's called. You know, it's, don't ask your mate to do your logo unless it's a graphic designer. Uh, web designer. Um, it's really complicated stuff out there. I mean, many people use WordPress as a base platform that's great, but you don't want to be bogged down with the details around it. That shouldn't be your expertise. I mean, Sophie and Nigel from our mastermind group do most of our websites for most of our students because that's what they love doing. So you need to be an expert. You need a professional photographer. I want to share in a second who we use, which I think uh, everyone who's been on the workshop, excellent guy. He specializes in just taking headshots. That's what he does. Product creation expert. There is a bit of skill to learn products, but I would almost say do it a bit later. But you need that. This is part number two. Copywriter, the skill that uh, Chilin has mastered. This is which you words to use to create an offer, which words to use to write on your web page, and all this stuff. This is the guy we use for our photos, John Cassidy. He's great, he, does, uh, he specializes in professional headshots. So if you're thinking of getting your personal brand done, find someone like John. They charge possibly two, 300 pounds, up to 500 pounds, depending how, uh, where they are in the world. If they're central London, normally a bit more. But just get good headshots done of yourself. Some great examples. I promised you in a preview, I want to talk about um, a couple of, um, how are we doing so far, by the way? Quick check-in. We all good? Yep. Still, Still interested? Still got us? Yeah? Still watching? You all in? Good. How is the heat? Good? Nice? I like it. You all got red cheeks? That's really exciting. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I, I, the air conditioning is quite noisy, so um, if you don't mind, we just leave it off for a bit more. I'm going to rush through the next bit. Yeah? And then water. Give me water. Cool. So let's talk about um, something I, I found. Um, quite uh, revealing and I think for most of you it will be a breakthrough. I've not shared that before. You will have not seen it on any webinar, I believe. And this is talking about new asset classes. 
Uh, I told you what you'll be covering today is talking about three new asset classes. How many asset classes, guys? Three. Three new ones. Everyone's thinking of property when they talk about asset classes. And I also want to talk about the difference between old and new economy. In the old economy, the only people who were allowed to buy land and houses and own factories were the upper class. It was actually a mark that was not available to middle and lower classes. Now, only in the 90s, the UK brought in what's called buy-to-let mortgages, which really exploded that whole idea uh, of, of residential landlords, the way we are, many of us, to buy houses, to get loans. So that's new. So in a new economy, suddenly, for about the last 15, 20 years, everyone can do that. But here are some three new asset classes I want you to understand. Number one is what I call virtual property, virtual real estate. Now this is your website. James and I, between us, own hundreds of websites and thousands of pages. Now they all like little, little flats, okay? They can be tenanted, they can make a little bit of money. Some of them make a lot of money. But we own the space. That space is called a domain name, like a street address. It's a domain name. <laughs> it's possibly a page. It owns a keyword. I built a little business for my girlfriend, Leva, who is uh, in, the, in the room today. You want to say hello to Leva? Hi, Leva. <coughs> Leva runs um, a, a massage uh, business, a therapy business out in Bracknell. So we just wanted to own one keyword for her. For her. Which keyword do you think we wanted to own? when she does massage in Bracknell. What do you think would be good? Massage. massage Bracknell. That's what we did. We just went after this and that's it. One keyword, one blog, that's it. She gets business every day. Phone rings every day. <coughs> now for most people that's all they ever want. Creating a couple of thousand pounds from just owning a little bit of, world of online real estate. Make it targeted, make it clear. Nothing about ruling the world, just getting a bit of business, okay? Very simple. So, who can own that virtual real estate? Anyone. Costs you nothing. Running an online business costs you nothing. It's peanuts. So virtual real estate should be on your list of assets you want to own. Start with your own domain, start with your own personal brand and then go and do more. Build products, do stuff around that. Number two, or number three actually, one, two, three, IP. Intellectual property. It even got the word inside. I just never understood it. I was like, duh, didn't get it. Now I create products. That's IP. This is how you can sell a set of DVDs that cost 20 pounds to produce for 500 pounds because the knowledge on there is intellectual property. Publish yours. Please, I want you to publish your own knowledge. Put your face on, put your name underneath, put a copyright note at the back, it's yours. Those new graphics, those new asset classes, I created that, it's my IP. This will turn into a franchise. This will turn into a licensed product around the world. This can be worth millions. I just sat down and did it one evening. Who can own IP? Everyone. The last value that, that is almost forgotten, and I, I got it in 2005 when I went to Tony Robbins. Who's been to Tony Robbins? If you haven't been, he's coming back in a few months, May, London. Tony Robbins, he said, I have to invest in myself. And I call it personality or personal property. That's self-development. Six years ago when I started online, I was still delivering pizzas for Domino's. It's the same me. I got the same values. I just didn't position myself well. In the Domino's world, I wasn't an expert. I got paid 50p a pizza and five pounds an hour. So you've got to find where you can leverage yourself the best. Who can do that? Anyone. James and I, we're flying over to America next week. We're spending $10,000 on a weekend course because we're always developing our expertise, our knowledge. Then I come back and give you the best and greatest of what I just learned. Maybe two hours worth. It's the excerpt from everything we learn. Uh, if you want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like this man. <laughs> cool. So let's look at one more thing. There's one more concept I said I would share with you today, which is called the product staircase. The product staircase is very different from the old model called the funnel. The funnel used to be, we get somebody, we squeeze them through the funnel, which hasn't got a nice connotation. Who wants to be squeezed through a funnel here? Very few people, I, I, I appreciate that. But who wants to climb a staircase or who wants to move up a staircase? Very different scenario. From my own mind, I never liked the funnel idea. So what we do in the product staircase, when you design your staircase, you've got to ask yourself a few questions. And by the way, it's all in the expert formula. So you're going to get the expert revolution, which talks about how to design your staircase and what to do, how to split it. 
First distinction I want you to think about is what access will these people have to you? Remember the life coach who sells his time for money? That is a full access model because without the life coach turning up, no money changes hands. I want you to think about no access models. What can I give? What can I sell? What can I give away where I'm not involved? Because if I'm not involved, how many times can I do that? A million times. How many names can I collect on my web form? How many reports can I give away? How many ebooks can I have downloaded? How many books can I ship? Unlimited, because there's no access to me. So think carefully about giving your time. That's, by the way, the easiest mistake to make. Because I'm thinking, oh, oh, I have something. Oh, I tell you, I teach you. There's no leverage. So access is the first thing to decide. Then I would ask you to write down some things. What is it you can give away for free right now or low price? Let's say below 10 quid. Something that people can sample, okay? Little samples. If you go to a supermarket, they want to sell you their new cheese. They say, hey, sir, free sample. And then you get a free sample, you think, that's quite nice, but then you feel a little bit, oh, I think I should buy that. It's a special offer today. I've got to get the cheese. You can do videos, audios, trial membership sites. Many of you come from a Blueprint coaching program, $1 trial, and then it was a four-month continuity program. That's how you get, and I didn't have to be involved, by the way. These are videos. They are still played today. As far as I'm aware, I'm still running that program. The next level is a bit of mixed access. So you've got, you've got to be aware here, you want to have no access and a little bit of access to you, but always on a group level. Avoid one-to-one -one at this level. Now the price point here, anything from 27 pounds all the way to like 997. This could be things like membership sites, home study courses, DVDs, live events. Okay? Now live event is a great, great way of leveraging your your expertise. The workshop we ran last, uh, last weekend, it was a 2,000 pound workshop, we had 18 people in a room. That's good leverage of my time. This is why I charge one to one, 15,000, because actually, if you look at the time invested, the workshop's better for me. So you've got to make those last decisions here expensive. Access to you has got to be expensive, because otherwise, where can you make your money? By the way, which model do you want in your business? Uh, which step do you think you want? All, all three. Exactly, thank you, all three. And what we found, that people ascend. There's a natural ascension. And this is why. Because on the first step, we have taster products. You can find out a bit more about you. <coughs> your knowledge, your expertise, <coughs> the free report, the seven biggest mistakes you must avoid, the six secrets, the five pillars the three-step blueprint, the formula, whatever it is you got to give away, to give people transformation from A to B, give it away. On my reports, and we taught that just last Platinum meeting, I said, here's page one of my report, it says, please give it away to as many people as you can. Now that's self-serving because I want my knowledge to go out, but it's also encouraging people to spread the word, because that means more people know about my message. The next level is what we call sampler products, a great way of sampling what you're about and then we got the high ticket. The high ticket products is stuff like mentorship programs, coaching programs, mastermind groups, retreats and of course a celebrity personal brand makeover. This could cost anything from 1500 to 15,000 pounds. Now I'll tell you right now, it takes time to grow into this. When I ran my first workshop, I charged 147 pounds and I felt sick to my stomach because I didn't think I was worth 147 for a day of my time. Two days later, sorry, two years later, two days, I wish. Two years later, two years of running those workshops, I cranked the price up. 297, 497, 697, 897, 997. Then I spread it to a two-day workshop and charged 1297 and 1497. Same knowledge, better positioning. Here's a weird thing. Who you think got better results? The people who paid 147 or the people who paid 1497? It's crazy, isn't it? It's been proven that people who spend more money are more vested, have more emotional connection. That's why we charge you so much. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's your best interest. <laughs> there has been Stanford studies done on, on health drinks, nutrition, anything. If you pay more, you make it work better. You're more vested. 
So, one last example of somebody who told me he knew he needed it. That was his website. Just a few weeks ago, a gentleman by the name of Johnny Cass. Who knows of Johnny Cass? Heard his name? Seen him on stage, possibly? International speaker, NLP trainer, great guy. No technical knowledge, no time for his brand. When I met him, I said, Johnny, what's going on, mate? I mean, this, this needs a celebrity brand makeover, correct? And within a few weeks, we were able to do this for him. He's got a personal branded page. You land on this. Now, let me ask you, if you had to book a speaker for your stage, who would you book? This guy or this guy? <laughs> I mean, you can't find anything about him. What's the point, okay? So <laughs> the real problem with, uh, with, with the, that page of Johnny, Johnny is not a different person. He doesn't know more. But we made him appear better. It's all about the positioning. So that was my last example actually with Johnny. So this is really uh, what his page is right now. So if you want to do your own personal brand, let me just quickly sum, sum it up. I think I've given you this list before. Just uh, Actually, no, people don't take notes, so I can see. You think it's all in the book, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> just gave you a bit of a flavor. So if you want to do these things, um, and you did it like with Johnny, um, a couple of things I would want you to have is a free report, giveaway, and a book if you can. It's optional, but today it's so easy to publish a book. I want you to have your own book. It is such a great calling card. When I go to big meetings with big JV partners and we go for dinner somewhere in London, I always bring my book, slap it on the table. Looks good immediately. Now I have two books. In a few months I bring three. So I'm like, wow, how big is yours? Look at my stash. Okay. <laughs> so that's really it, guys. Um, I want to ask you one thing. In your life, from experience, I know there are three ways to get things done. Anything, by the way. Number one is the DIY approach. Who is good at DIY in the room? Okay, a few of you. Brilliant. I've just, um, just put a house um, on the market and I'm so glad I wasn't involved much with the DIY because what happens uh, with DIY generally, uh, you fall in the hole and that's it. So if you try to do things yourself and you haven't got the skills, you normally, you know, it looks like a great option. The second strategy is what I call do with you and a do with your strategy is better. That's like we do sometimes in workshops or training or an, an online coaching program. What happens there, you still fall in the hole, but at least someone helps you out because you're not alone, correct? You've got someone doing it with you. The real cool stuff is the DFY, the done for you solution. What I love about the done for you, you just got literally at the end of the day, you just go there and you just tick the boxes. Like, oh, done, done, done. I just had a massive refurb done on a property and I just went in the end and just we ticked the boxes. We checked for missing things, little snagging list, <laughs> and then I came back a few days later. Great. Now, that exists in almost any, anything. And what I want to do today, I told you I would like you to explore ways of working with us. And we have different options. And who is right now thinking that James and myself could help you in your business, life direction, make you more money? Can I have a show of hands who just believes if you worked with me, there would be some benefit? Okay. Cool. I, I, thank you. I mean, that's... I put a lot of effort into the presentation, so I'm really glad, yeah? So that's good. That was the idea. So you think I can do this. That's great. So uh, let me explore different options. What we have is three different coaching programs. And just to let you know, um, tonight you can't buy the coaching program. So we're not going to ask you, make you drunk first and then run to the back. You know, this is, <laughs> that, that, that's not the strategy here, okay? <laughs> The strategy is to kind of be in a nice environment with, with, with friendly people, some of our students, you can mix and mingle. So that... <laughs> I haven't had my wine yet. Oh, okay, we, we saved a little bit for you, so that's good. So let me first of all um, explore and tell you about Platinum. Uh, Platinum is, as you can see here, a, a six-month uh, program. And what I want you to, to consider is working with us in Platinum as an option. Platinum is offer price if you want to work with us tonight, we have an office price, which is when people call the office, we, we charge normally more than double, but every time I offer in a room, it's that price. There is a three-pay option. So the offer is 995 for a six-month program. The three-pay option is 332. After the six months, you automatically go on a recurring. You can cancel any time, but it's a recurring of 165 a month. Let me tell you what you get for that. Uh, first of all, the size of the group is Below 100, right now we're at like 45, so it is a, a small intimate group, less than you got here today. 
you're getting a monthly newsletter from us, uh, which is a 12, 16 page marketing newsletter with case studies, success stories, updates. We're sending you an audio CD, an interview that I do with James or James with me or with an expert. <coughs> you also get monthly online training in our special coaching webinar. And that is here in a room. So we actually have a monthly meeting. I don't know why the private meeting's gone. That should be green. Can I just make it green for a second? Because <laughs> that's actually a quite important part of the, of the platinum program here. Thank you. So, there it comes, there it comes. So, the very important part of platinum is we actually meet in a room like this. So we spend four or five hours together, we go through innovations, marketing strategies, case studies and all this stuff. So in essence, for six months investment for less than a grand, you work with us in person. The second level that uh, we have right now is what we call the Inner Circle Mastermind. And that is the program that Gillian is working on and Alan for the third term. Gillian also is uh, with us for 18 months in the Mastermind group. And that is uh, a 6,000 pound program or you can pay it over three installments of 2,000 pounds. It's a six month program and after, if you stay, it's 997 a month. What you get for this is, of course, all the newsletter, audio, monthly training, but you also get the private meeting with us. You get weekly implementation coaching. That means every week we're running a webinar, a group coaching program, where we hold you accountable, where we give you updates. And this is the key to success. Mastermind guys also get two-to-one coaching. That's James and me together on a call with you. That's the mastermind level. This is restricted to less than 16 people. Currently we work with 10 businesses and we cannot do it any larger than 16. So this is the, the mastermind uh, program. What we have found that there's a bit too much space in between. And everyone in this room today, there's some platinum. Who is actually on platinum? Can I have a show of hands for platinum guys? Okay, look around the room, so there's about 10 people from Platinum. And Mastermind guys, put your hand up please. Okay, so a lot of you here because it's the retreat, okay. So that leaves, um, I believe there's something in between we can do. And James and I came up with something uh, we call the Platinum Plus, which is the Platinum Plus Implementation Coaching. What this does, it literally sits right in between the Platinum meeting and the Mastermind meeting. And what we will do for you is weekly implementation coaching. That means you join up with us, we will help you follow the expert success formula. Because you, I give you all you need to know, but the problem is, will you get it done without somebody kicking your butt? Will you get it done without advice, guidance and a bit of a push at times? Will you get it done without coming back into the room and getting the accountability? My hallucination here is that possibly not, otherwise you wouldn't be here tonight without it. Because it's not in the knowledge. What's the secret to weight loss by the way? Give me the secret to weight loss. Two things, everyone knows it. Eat, yes. exercise. Oh. So why do people not get it done? Same reason, okay? Accountability partner missing, the reason why isn't big enough. There's like 170,000 different books on Amazon about weight loss. Yet, the answer everyone knows. So who achieves the best results in weight loss out there? Personal trainers. Personal trainers, yeah. Did you ever see Biggest Loser, stuff like that? Yeah. You know, it's amazing. They work with personal trainers, one-to-one -one accountability in the gym. Let's get it done. Let's get your personal plan devised so we get your results. This program is brand new, Platinum Plus. Even the masterminders didn't know we were going to launch it tonight. And some masterminders were scratching their head and said, I'm not getting weekly implementation coaching. You are now. Because this is what you get access to. You can choose your level. And the way I would like to do that for tonight, uh, what to do next, is very, very simple. I want you to make a commitment tonight. And a commitment is very simple. You pay a £100 deposit tonight. We have forms here, you just give us your details, you pay hundred pounds and what you get for that is a 30 minute, actually two to one, a two to one consultation with me and James or James or me, okay? You get one of us in the next uh, few days giving you a consultation. 
looking at your strategy, talking to you what we believe we can do for you. And then one of three things will happen. We will create a personalized strategy how to join the expert revolution. Who believes I've made a good case for the expert revolution tonight, by the way? Thank you. I want you to spread the word, and I don't you, well, just want you to spread the word, I want you to live and join the revolution. You know, become a, a case study for this. Say, you know what, since Johnny Daniels' expert revolution program with the expert success formula, I earn more, work less, and have more fun. Which, by the way, is the title of the book. Earn more, or make more, work <coughs> less, have fun. Because that's really a key value for me. One of two things will happen at the end of this consultation, the strategy. Number one, you will be accepted in one of the programs, the one that we decide is the best fit for you, and some of you might not be ready for Mastermind. I don't let you invest £6,000 with us unless we know we have a business we can add value to. But you surely be accepted into Platinum or Platinum Plus, depending on what's right for you. We're going to look at your situation. The second thing that could happen, a very unlikely case, that there is no match and we cannot find a workable strategy, we will offer you a 100% refund. I think that's a fair exchange. We give you time, we work out a strategy for you. If you want to work with us in any of the programs, we'll find the best match. If we cannot find a match and you say, you know what guys, I really can't see it working. Or it might be James and us who say, you know what, right now from where you are, I don't think we have a program that is right for you. Buy the book, enjoy, do this and come back in a year or six months. Okay. You will get a 100% refund, no, no questions asked. So guys, that's been it for me. What I'd love to do is just have a show of hands. So who is just considering making a decision, working with us? I mean, if all the guys already working with us can put their hands up as well, because you will be continuing. There's quite a few of you. I appreciate that. So if you just uh, go to the back, uh, see Corey. Uh, Corey is actually the Platinum and our membership concierge. So if you work with us, you will be dealing with Corey, um, helping with membership sites and everything. I'll be at the back for questions. Any clarification? Uh, we also have, of course, um, if you should choose to leave, the expert revolution printout for you, the book for you. But I would like you to hang out a little bit more with us, maybe study the um, expert success form a little bit, and look forward to seeing you at the back. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.